Hello, my boy Alex from AMA, where I train. We've become pretty good friends talking about, you know, how to best hurt people. And Alex, uh, he spent a long time training with, in Vegas, you trained with? AJ Matthews, he was a former Bellator fighter. And he still trains in Muay Thai up in California now. But he's one of the artists and masters in the clinching techniques. And that's exactly what we're gonna be going over. Just a couple of great, introductions of entering, exiting, and what to do in between. I'm coming in on the person like, Will, I'm a long guy. I got some long legs, I got some long arms. Freakish long. <laughs> it's a lot yeah. easier for me to come in than him coming into me. So know your body, know what you're capable of, and know what you are strong at and what you're weak at. And be honest with me. <laughs> so I'll go, I'll throw him a little fake, and then I'll actually land the jab and hit him in the face. So once I go and do the initial fake one and I actually land, I take a, about two, three inch little step in so I can go and have my distance of my cross not landing at him but coming to the cup of the back of the neck. So with that grip, I will go and put my elbow into him and break his posture down. With this, he still has his arms up but you have one arm left. So what you can do in my favorite situation is I like to get my head into the head and get rid of the distance between our heads and make sure that this arm is very, you know, um, neutralized. Neutralized to the most part. He can still get me, get me in there, but the entrance point is to go and grab the other grip and really get a hold of it. So once you're at this point, he still has both his arms to attack you, but what you want to do is stun him and get rid of that application so he can't go and hurt you. So once I come in, I go do the fake jab, come in, grab the head, grab the other arm over with the same cuff grip, and then I come in with a couple of knees. But my favorite thing to do is work with the elbows. Because once you get a nice stun in the knee, a nice knee to stun him right into, inside the chest, or you pull his head right into your knee, you're gonna stun him completely, but doesn't mean you have to go in and ditch the clinch because of how important it is. If I wanna come in for a sweep, I can come in for a sweep this way. If I just wanna come and just dump him down and start playing ground game, you can be more than free to do it, but it depends on the goal that you want to do. But like I said, we're gonna work on a couple elbows. So as you're holding him, you wanna make sure you're pinning everything nice and tight, just like everything else throughout the rest of the instructionals. No matter what martial art it is, you're always holding things tight. In jiu-jitsu, you're doing submission. You're not allowing the arm to last around. You're pulling everything in and suffocating it. Like my coach likes it, well, like our coach likes it says, you're not a maniac with a chainsaw. You're a surgeon with a scalpel. You eliminate the space to make sure you have the full control. If I don't have full control, he can start coming to bridge up, uh, not bridge, posture up, escape, swim in, and get his arms out. And you're eliminating that whole situation by gluing your elbows in, pulling everything in tight, where you're able to come up strike if you're really trying to hurt them in the back of the head, even at the top of the head if you can reach them. As I like to hold in, I'll come back, I'll come up with upward elbows, maybe you'll come with a sideways elbow, but like, kind of like an answer the phone, when you come back, you're not coming out crazy. You're just answering the phone, and then you come in, and you can come right back, or you can just come in, do a couple strikes, finish off with the knee, and just back out the situation. Don't go too crazy, keep everything nice and tight, and don't allow yourself to get a little out of hand by being like, oh, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Get a couple of hits and two ways, either finish the, the person or get the fuck out of it. Really well said, bro. And I want to reiterate a couple of points, but I thought this was great. When you get me in that nice tight clinch with the elbows down, look, there's nothing I can really do. I mean, I can start thinking about pushing the head away and stuff, but you're not going to let me stay there for long, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to clench me up and you're going to hit me, right? You get the quick, you get the quick, am I kneeing or am I elbowing? Or am I just gonna open the space and do a cross? It, but you're keeping everything tight, that's the gist of it. Tight is better than not, because if you didn't keep it nice and tight with those elbows, I think we all know when anything could go, right? But the way that you describe keeping it nice and tight and answering the phone, right? Very well put, very, very well put indeed. So guys, if you have any comments or questions, indeed throw them down below, we'd love to hear from you. We will answer you. Definitely 100%. So 
I appreciate you watching. Uh, Alex, is there anything else that you want to interject here before we cut it? Actually, I was going to ask, did you want to add anything to that? I couldn't say it any more better myself, bro. I really couldn't. Uh, well, like, you know, we could do a, if you want a, a whole video of breakdowns of a lot of possible situations, because we didn't even get to trips, we didn't get to any sweeps, we didn't even get to any cool throws. So we can do anything from that clinch, because just like I said, the basis of it is where the head goes, the body goes. So if you want to see more, just let us know and we can figure something out and build a subject for you guys. I yeah. want you guys to take advantage of this, okay? Because y'all know that I've done about three, three and a half, something like that in Muay Thai. We're talking with a guy who literally learned from the trapping master. All right, we, we want to get all of this knowledge out into this channel as possible. So comment below if you want to see different Muay Thai takedowns. You want to see, hey, how do I do with getting clinched up myself? All right, that's a good area to explore there. So. Let us know what you want to see again. We'd be glad to go ahead after class one night. We'll get together, we'll take the geese off, and we'll experiment with what works, what doesn't work, and have some fun in general. Absolutely. Until next time, please remember, guys, that you were your first and last line of defense, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you, guys. Cheers.